My grandmother, Haas. She was very skilled at embroidery and crocheting and knitting, dabbled in sewing. She took me under her wing. My grandmother actually grew up here in North Columbus. She was a polar bear alum, fiercely loyal. I still have some of the mementos, including her class of 1926. This is my grandmother there. Her pictures when she was a 1920s flapper, um, dancing her way through uh, North Columbus. This is my grandmother as I remember her. This is me, and it would be a few years after this that we had our first crochet needle in our hand. She met a dashing student at Ohio State. He took my grandmother back to Orville to live on the farm where I was born and raised, and then I would via OSU, find myself right back in her old stomping grounds. I picked up the needles again about four years ago, and I was a little rusty. And I remembered this really cool, funky activity called yarn bombing. And then I thought, this is what I'm gonna do. Those very first bands I put up on High Street were so simple. Really, it was me kind of getting back into learning my stitches again and getting the feel of it. But I would make a band at night, um, make a cup of coffee, walk up to High Street, stitch it on early in the morning, smile at it every time I drove by. It was exclusively just for me and my mental health. The folks who caught me were those darn healthy people, the runners. And I never worried about being spotted so much in the early because I was thinking of it just for me. As it progressed, particularly when I started seeing it get noticed on social media, I thought, um, okay, well, I uh, need to keep this on the down low a little bit more. I, I want to stay undercover on this. When we made the move to more of a commissioned piece, everything changed. Doing it in one spot on High Street under a street light, uh, under the cover of darkness, worked fine. When I found myself creeping around people's dark backyards at night, that's when we invested in a miner's light. The ideas for the pieces, either there's a message that I want to play upon. There was a situation that was very humorous in Clintonville that dealt with a kangaroo sign. So I made a kangaroo. Or I will see a structure and I see it as something different. I see the bike rack as a caterpillar crawling. I don't uh, get too involved in um, activism, but there have been some that have spoke to climate change or Pride Month. The Tin Soldier maybe is my favorite until this Christmas when I anticipate a new favorite. What we're gonna do at first is learn the basic stitches. And honestly, once you know these stitches, the world is open to you. I saw in Italy a Christmas tree that had been made of individual granny squares. Granny square is a project in crochet that's almost the, the first thing everyone learns how to do. And, and I thought I would love if we could gather granny squares from all of the crocheters in, in Clintonville and create this beautiful piece of public art. You did great, you did great. On social media, I had noticed people commenting about the yarn bombs. Oh, it makes me want to learn to crochet. This is the opportunity. So I put out on social media that we would hold a free workshop. We actually had to go with two classes then because they filled up quickly and it was a diverse crowd and we had folks who had never had a crochet hook in their hand up through folks that did know how to crochet but wanted to learn the granny square and many went home and continued to make additional squares. We ended up with some people contributing up to 20 or 30 squares. We wanted to certainly have young people uh, involved, I knew from my own experience. 
learning to crochet as a child, uh, how much fun it would be. Fortunately, WOSU Classroom had the resources to make those connections. And now grab it and bring it through. The way the whole STEAM movement has come up, being STEM, um, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, we're leaving out that A for art. So it shouldn't be STEM, it should be STEAM. Art isn't just some frivolous thing we do to give kids downtime. It is a good way to sit and reflect and take some of those lessons they're learning in the classroom and apply them to something that seems unrelated, but actually does tie together. It was very hard to crochet because I really didn't know how to do most of the stuff. And Miss K and Miss Hanukkah really started to teach me. And then it started to get easy and then I started to do it faster. I finished three. At first it was tricky for me. Then um, after I did it for a couple days, um, I, got, I got the hang of it. At first it was just like this little knot right here. But now it's like almost a granny square. I started right here at the knot. There should be a knot right there. And the hardest part was getting it through the holes because it always got tangled when I went through. I was most impressed with how quickly they got over their frustrations. Oh, you messed up? We'll just pull it out and we'll do it again. That was just practice. There it is! Woohoo! I'm going to keep crocheting. I could teach my younger siblings when they like get older like me. I want to keep on like making blankets for the homeless. I hope they take away the confidence of knowing that no matter how hard something looks, that if they just keep trying, they can do it. It's so important for children today to feel a sense of belonging and a feeling a sense of purpose. And through maker spaces and through creating and making projects where they can show a little bit of themselves, I think is just a really inspiring moment. I think it's going to be a lot of granny scares on the young Bama Christmas tree. But I can't wait and to see how she's going to make it go come all together. Hello, Yarn Bombers! Hello, Yarn Bombers! Who is the Yarn Bomber? Who is the Yarn Bomber? We've been making granny squares for you. We've been making granny squares for you. Where is the Christmas tree going to be? I would like to think that my grandmother would just be thrilled for something that started out just for my own pleasure, to know, to hear, to read, how much it makes other people smile. It now has become the motivation. Mm -hmm.